This morning marked the opening of the most important meeting of the CPC's five-year cycle. So what exactly is the 20th National Congress? Why is this year's meeting so important? Who is involved and what do they do? And what is the Western media getting so wrong? Welcome to my simple guide to the 20th National Congress of the CPC. Let's get started. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past year or more, you will have heard about the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, or the 20th National Congress for short. Actually, let's go with the popular Chinese term, which is even easier, 二十大, which literally translates as 20, 二十, big, da, shorthand for the 20th big meeting. So what is 二十大? First things first, I'll tell you what it's not. Arshida is not to be confused with other significant political meetings here in China. It is not the National People's Congress or NPC, which is the highest organ of state power and is held annually. It is not the CPPCC or the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. Arshida is the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, which is held every five years and sees more than 2,000 outstanding party members or deputies elected to head to Beijing and undertake a series of important tasks pertaining to party business. It's the most important meeting of the CPC's five-year cycle. The deputies of the 20th National Congress are basically those who have been elected from around China to represent the party at this significant event. This time, 2,296 deputies were elected from 38 election units across the country. Those 38 units include provinces, regions and cities, central and state organs, and more. The deputies are considered the best of the best of the CPC's more than 96 million members. So let's take a quick look at some interesting stats on this year's deputies. 771 of the deputies, or 33.6%, are frontline workers, including 192 migrant workers and 85 farmers. 619 are women, making up 27% of the total, which is a 2.8% increase on the 19th National Congress. 264 come from China's 55 ethnic minorities, which means they're non-Han. That makes up 11.5% of the total, which is nearly double the actual number of ethnic minorities in China. 6% of China's 1.4 billion are non-Han. The 2,296 deputies come from a huge range of backgrounds, including economics, science and technology, politics and law, education, health and sports, and more. The average age of this year's deputies is 52.2 years. Nearly 60% of deputies are under the age of 55, and 18.9% are under 45. Another point of note about Ar Shadar's deputies is that Overall, they're very educated, with more than 95% being university graduates. More than half, 52.7%, hold postgraduate degrees. The big tasks of the deputies at Arshida can basically be summed up as going over the progress of the party in the past five years, discussing and deciding on important party issues, defining the future direction of the party, revising the party constitution if need be, and electing a new central leadership. Two big parts of going over the progress of the past five years is hearing and reviewing the report of the 19th Central Committee, and then examining the work report of the 19th Central Commission for Discipline Inspection. They'll also review the Constitution. A big part of Arshida, and the one that Western media has almost solely focused on, is the election of a new central leadership. But they're missing the actual most important aspect of the Congress, which I'll get into soon. During Ar the 2,296 deputies will vote for the next Central Committee, a group of around 200 full members and 170 alternate members. The new Central Committee will then go on to elect the Politburo, which is basically the executive part of the Communist Party of China. Last time, the Politburo had 25 members, of which seven formed the Politburo Standing Committee, headed by the General Secretary, which will also be voted on at Ar but despite this aspect taking up almost 100% of Western media coverage leading up to the meeting, that's not what makes this year's Congress so significant. According to the CPC, the most significant aspect of Ar Shida is the fact that it falls during an important time in the process of China achieving what are called the two centennial goals, 
one of which has already been achieved. The first centennial goal was to build a moderately prosperous society in all respects by 2021, which has already been achieved. This had a lot to do with the eradication of absolute poverty, the increase in people's quality of life, and a significant rise in GDP. Since that goal has already been achieved, it's now time to switch gears to achieving the second goal, which is to build a modern socialist country that is prosperous, strong, democratic, culturally advanced, and harmonious by 2049. How the country moves forward to achieve that goal will largely pivot around preparations made by the new party leadership, including the 20th Central Committee, the Politburo, and the General Secretary. This includes preventing and controlling major risks, reducing pollution, and deepening reform to ensure China can move ahead with healthy economic and social development. China's government prefers stability and long-term planning, unlike the chaotic process of governance in many Western countries, who struggle to strive for, let alone achieve, long-term goals. That's why this pivotal moment as China switches gears from achieving the first centennial goal to preparing to make the second centennial goal a reality by 2049 is so crucial and why Arshda is so significant. Well, that's basically it you guys in my simple introduction class to China's 20th CPC National Congress or Arshda. I'll be following developments during the week as well as monitoring Western media reports and will definitely update you guys very soon. So what do you think of Arshida? What's the most significant part in your mind? What course do you think China will chart as we head towards 2049? Let me know down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you guys next time, bye bye.